uh, that it was screenshot and sent around everywhere. So it is what it is, but I quickly deleted it in like 10 minutes and did regret giving two seconds of energy to my event producer for that event. So never mentioned his name. Uh, he obviously felt the need to lie and exaggerate in poor grammar. Ugh, his grammar was just embarrassing. But I thought he would try to appear more professional when he joined, or maybe he's already on it, this horrific Jeff Lewis fan account where he went to appeal his case to, uh, to, to prove to everyone what a liar and exaggerator that I am. Uh, honey, I always have proof. I have the DMs. I have the emails. I know legally I'm okay to share those. I have no contract with you because Business 101, do a contract. I mean, really? Uh, business 102, have me sign an NDA. Don't send me a fake cease and desist. Don't threaten me. Don't call me an amateur. Don't be condescending to me. Don't be rude to me. These are all things I was dealing with for the month leading up to my event that I kept to myself as a professional. But if he wants to shots fired and go into a nasty Facebook group and write out some horrific grammar, um, anyways, but lies and exaggerations about me, um, I will always answer the truth. And when I tell you that this is a fun fan account, it was absolutely started for those reasons. Someone that is a public school teacher, kindergarten teacher in California uh, should be ashamed of herself. And I'm pretty sure you would lose your job. They would be appalled at your uh, public displays of bullying and vile behavior. And I'm pretty sure your teachers would be appalled. So think twice at what you post or say about me publicly because I'm pretty sure your career could be in jeopardy. I myself was a public elementary school teacher for five years. In Texas, I'm well aware at what the rules are for keeping your teacher certification. So if I were you, I might spend your weekend, because you have nothing else to do but obsess over me, I might spend your weekend deleting all of your Reddit hatred, deleting your Instagram, so the lies and exaggerations and you trying to threaten me with that, you know, stories about me and you're making up stuff and you're saying that um, I've, you, I've, you've heard of terrible things that I've done. Absolutely false. I would be extremely careful if I were you going forward. Also, if I were you being a public school teacher in California, I would go and clean up my Instagram. I would also clear up my Reddit account. You might have multiple. I would clear that up if I were you. Just some friendly advice. Anywho, let's get into shout out news. Now, where I really do disagree with is her reaction and her response to all of this. That's what I don't like. And this is what Donna and I both said on the Instagram Live. I think when you get called out for that, then I think you just need to take a little accountability. She like went on the defense right away. She was like, receipts, timeline, screenshots, everything. I'm about the facts. And these are not the facts. Like she very much went on the defense. Did not agree with that. Don't go public and be like, Jeff, I apologize to you and you're not responding to me. 
don't love that either, you know? And Jeff Lewis clearly hates you right now. So pointing the finger at everybody else except for yourself and getting messy and sharing screenshots and, you know, talking about, I'm about the facts and I'm about the facts and here are the facts. Like, it's just not reading well and it's not coming across well at all. For I kind of proved myself to people over a year and got chunks following and chunks coming on my Instagram live and me getting personally invited to events that Jeff Lewis was hosting. But then lately it kind of took this ne very negative turn where they, they actually say very mean things uh, about me and, and, and the chumps and, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and there's things, there's some boundaries that are being crossed and, I now have to take a look at this and I don't really know how to solve the problem. Mm -hmm. But yesterday I was very, very upset mm -hmm. because um, somebody, and I don't know who it is, went too far and started talking about my daughter's school mm -hmm. and where she goes. Wow. And not only is that completely reckless and um, scary, dangerous, dangerous, but then also didn't stop there, then went and started listing the celebrity kids that go there, which wow. is like, Wow. It's so unbelievably fucking stupid. I was never made aware that Donna Bowling thought I was rude or dismissive. I was never made aware or got a vibe that her husband that I've met twice thought I was a stage five stalker or whatever it's called. But I learned about it publicly last night when I got home. 
you know, if anyone would have asked me um, how things went whenever I met Donna at the September 30th event, I'd have been like, oh my God, it was great. The only thing is some people came up to me and said, hey, did Donna Bowling leave? She didn't say goodbye to you. And I'm like, oh, and I looked around. It was a pretty small event. And I texted her and I was like, hey, are y'all okay? Did you? She's like, yeah, you know, my friend was ready to leave. And I'm like, oh, okay, no big deal. So maybe then she was getting a vibe that she didn't like me. I didn't pick up on that. I mean, I didn't know. So I feel terrible that I would make anyone feel unwelcome or below me. Um, but I, I, I honestly didn't know until I watched it on her Instagram live last night. Oh, Donna's here. This is insane. Who's we? We got dragged in and it's not fair. I mean, Donna, you and Zach went live about me Monday night or Sunday night. I'm not even sure. I don't know.